the 950 odd households in as many semi-permanent dwellings in Subhash camp have settled in the last 25 years right across the campus of one of the city's biggest thermal power units in Delhi. The wide open drain running through the stretch of the settlement, the filth overflowing and the nauseating stench symbolized Subhash camp until women in the community came together and got determined to rid themselves of this debilitating menace. Earlier, this used to be an open drain and the place was always wet and dirty. The drain used to flow in the middle of the slum. Soon they constructed a new drain here, which they left uncovered. As the water level increased gradually, the residents started tinkering and covering partially the drain in front of their houses and all this worsened the situation. The drain became very, very dirty. My bed started floating inside my house as rainwater entered the house last year because of heavy rainfall. The rice which I cooked in a utensil also started floating in the water. I was so much depressed that I felt I should leave this place immediately. Jayanti became ill because of this train. My younger brother also fell seriously ill, but somehow he survived. Jayanti's condition became critical and her husband took her to the village where she slowly recovered from her illness. One day, our neighbor's child fell into the drain. When I checked, I could not make out who the child was as I could only see his legs. I rescued the child immediately, cleaned him and took him to the hospital. He was put on saline drip. Then he became all right. After that, none of us allowed our children to go outside. After this incident, we were too scared to leave our children unattended. We decided to cover this drain and we were ready to go to any extent to cover it the way we wanted to do it. All 24 members went to the local MLA with the expectation that at least he will listen to our problems. We shared everything with him and brought it to his notice that the drain water is entering our houses and our children are falling ill. All of us narrated the travails we were facing. We requested him to find out a solution for us. Instead of responding to us, the answer he gave was very painful. He said, it is your right to raise issues and my responsibility is to listen to all of you. But having said that, I do not know whether I can do anything for you. We were shocked. We thought he would be able to solve our problem, but he did nothing for us. We obviously mean nothing to him as we continue to live in this terrible condition. We thought as they were listening to us, we will go wherever we could go. We drafted a letter with the help of Junaid from Centre for Advocacy and Research. We took signature of almost 200 members of this slum and went to the MLA. In the beginning, he said that now I can't do anything for you because this work does not come under my jurisdiction. After that, we requested him to at least receive the letter and give us a signed copy so that we can approach the department. Then we went to the office of the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, Delhi Jal Board and DUSIP. The MCD officers said that it did not come under their department. Again, we went back to the local MLA and asked him how it will help if we are sent from one department to another and how does he intend to address our problem. He realized that we will not take a no for an answer. Then he said that he will do it only after the election. But we felt that he is not going to do anything after the election. We decided to keep going to the MLA in a group and put constant pressure on him. 
as the assembly election was due in the month of December, we thought this is the right time to create pressure on him to get our work done. We knew that they will come to our camp to ask for votes and if we put pressure, they will definitely cover our drain. If we visit him regularly before the elections, we will be able to create pressure on him and he will cover our drain. This worked. He then said, I will get the drain cleaned and covered. After that, we begin to ask him as to when the work will be completed. In the beginning, he designated two workers and then sent four workers and then about 15 workers came to do this work. But they used to work only for four to five hours a day. We felt that they are not going to finish this work before elections. So, we put pressure on him by regularly visiting him till our drain was finally covered. 